by Deer, and I'm currently a translator for Team Dallas Fuel. I was born in Korea. I guess growing up, I was surrounded by a bunch of male cousins who played a lot of games. I always say that I have eight male cousins and my ninth was Mario. We grew up just playing a lot of games. Uh, eventually, I moved to the US. I lived most of my life in Chicago, and eventually I started to think about my career. For some reason, I landed on going to a pharmacy school. I moved to St. Louis to go to a pharmacy school for six years, and the only thing that kept me sane during those entire six years was gaming. I did it! You're kidding. Oh my god, I did it! I did it! There was one shot too! Pharmacy was definitely not the right path for me. It actually all started from League of Legends. I went to Worlds last year and then started translating for the media over there, and then I was looking for more experience. It was a coincidence that I found out that Dallas Fuel was actually based in Dallas and I was already here. And I reached out to Dallas Fuel saying, hey, I have a little bit of experience translating. If you happen to have a position or if I could help you guys and if I could learn about general management, then I would be more than happy to provide you with any kind of translation services. And they actually just went ahead and offered me a job. That's why I'm here today. Working with the Fuel is so special. I honestly, when I first started, I didn't know what to expect. I always had it in the back of my mind that some of the organizations out there just think of players as plainly assets. I feel like this is such a model organization. There are so much um, people who are supportive of the players. There were several responsibilities that was given to me when I was first hired. Get, making sure that the Korean players are accustomed here and they adjust well. Whenever they have a hard time, I also feel the pressure and I feel like I'm responsible to try to fix that as well. I'd like to apologize for my English skill, but I will be learning. And the next time I do the interview, it'll be a lot better and I will be speaking English. So stay tuned. Communication issues, they're so frustrating. There's always a way to improve that and I'm always thinking about ways to actually make it easier for them. With Gamsu, it's very different from the rest of the players because we both have dogs. So we tend to talk a lot about our dogs. The interesting thing is we share the same dialect. And once I heard him talking Korean, I was like instantly like, he's from my hometown. <laughs> Honestly, I've never met another gamer who never cusses. Gamsu never cusses, it's really it's crazy, but he's that kind of a person. Working from home is a blessing and a curse, honestly. Uh, not being able to see the players, it's just not the same because you don't feel the same energy in the air. And I feel like my motivation comes from the player's passion. I just ordered some treats for Wendy and I thought it might be a good idea to order some toys for our new family members at the Fuel, our babies, Bada and Annie. <laughs> She's super smart. She can already sit and shake for the most part. Mm. <laughs> I can't catch him. <laughs> My daily life at Fuel looks like I come to work, I go to the coach meeting, I translate for the coaches who don't understand English, and then I relay the message back to the head coach and the non-Korean speaking coaches as well. I sit in a scrim and make sure that the Korean players know what they're saying, and if they don't understand something, I write that down and then relay that message back to them after the, after the scrims, and make sure that they learn how to say certain words that they don't know how to say. Make sure you're very confident. Make sure you're very focused. The biggest challenge is when we have to say something, potentially like give the players the harsh feedback. I feel like my heart is breaking whenever I have to do that. Part of my job is being completely transparent so that the message gets across and delivered perfectly fine. So um, I've been trying to avoid those emotions getting mixed up with uh, my work. Just, 
I'm always thinking about ways to improve their communication and and how it would be more fun for them to spend time with each other. And I feel like with the quarantine, it's been really rough, but I'm always thinking about that. And I feel like once the quarantine is over, I have a lot of new ideas to bring to the table and that we will have more time to spend with each other. So it can only get better from here. Pets need love, but I feel like I'm, <laughs> I was about to say, she's, she's actually, actually a rescue. And dogs don't get rescued. I feel like they rescue other people. Mm-hmm. <laughs>